We're visiting the Novecento Museum, home to the best collection of futurist art in all Italy. I really like this. It's like a little capsule of futurism, all condensed into just a couple of galleries. Here they begin, they're in Paris, they're in the cafes, they're reading the papers, they're doing what Picasso had done. They're trying to think, what would it be like to be a modern artist? And I think suddenly on this other wall, bang, you've got the answer. Mm. They turn, this is not a very well-known futurist, Achille Funi, uh, but he is turning to Milan. He's not in Paris, he's painting Milan, he's painting a man getting off a tram. <laughs> yes, he looks like, for real, look at that. It's like an explosion, isn't it? I think what he's trying to, he's trying to capture that, you know, when we were on the tram, you know, that sense that the world is not still, that there's the sound, you can almost hear the shriek of the tram. Mm. Now, they do take their cue to a certain degree from Paris, because Paris is the great centre of modern art, but they're changing it all the time. Think of someone like Toulouse-Lautrec painting the Can Can Girls. Well, this is an Italian artist, Gino Severini, and this is what he makes of the Can Can. This is very much an artist who's read Marinesi's Futurist Manifesto. Mm. And he's interested in this idea that we are inhabitants of the machine age. And when he looks at the chorus line, it's as if he sees a group of people who've turned themselves into a kind of animated piston engine. Yeah. Their legs kicking. Yeah, the 12 piston going up. It's almost like people becoming like the inside of a motor car. They were setting themselves quite a difficult task, which is to capture in a still frame a sense of movement. I mean, this picture, once you read the title, you can see the subject, girl running on a balcony. It is there, the girls running on the balcony, literally. Like if it was like different frames of a moving image. Yeah. The further you get, the more you can actually see the image moving. It takes really shape. It is brilliant. One of the things I like about futurism is that they're trying to break up the language of the past. But the real star of the movement was a man called Umberto Boccioni. Look at this. This is, this is Boccioni's sort of masterpiece in sculpture. And it's called Unique Forms of Continuity in Space. It was based, how appropriate for one of the masterpieces of Milan with its two great football teams, is based on the image of a football player. What do you think of it? Do you like it? I really, really like it. And, you know, it reminds me more than a footballer. He actually looks like one of those little robot transformer that my, my children used to have. Yeah, well, I don't think it's a coincidence. But it's the futurist man striding into what he thought was the future. The future. Yeah.